Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? Welcome to the first episode of my Football Manager 2016 Leicester City career. Now guys, if this video can hit 200 likes within 24 hours, I will do a double upload here today and release the second episode that is 200 likes. Now this Football Manager career, this brand new series was voted by you guys. So I just wanted to thank each and every one of the 241 people who voted on the poll. Leicester won with 91 votes with 38%. West Ham came second with 40 votes, 17%. Everton came third with 28 votes and 12%. We currently have 31 million in our transfer budget, so hopefully we can splash the cash on a couple of players. It's a decent amount. Now, I'm going to be skipping to the first match of the season, which is against Crystal Palace. To be quite honest, Football Manager has a lot of boring and tedious elements to it, so I'm going to be recapping it once we get to the first match. So, I'll see you in a second. Okay, welcome back, guys. I just thought I would skip the tedious transfer negotiations and the inboxes. It's just really sluggish in Football Manager, and I want you guys to get um, decent content. I don't want it to be boring for you. So, let's recap what we've done so far. In today's episode, we're going to, we're going to be having two matches, the first of which is against uh, Crystal Palace, and then our next match is against Bournemouth. So let's start off with the finances. I currently have no transfer budget, and I'm actually spending over what I have because I've already bought some players. So let's go straight into our transfers and have a look at our transfer history. The first player that will be signing for the Leicester City career mode is Lock Remy. Now, Chelsea. Uh, have decided to put Remy up for transfer, and we managed to pick him up for a bargain, 19 million. So that's 19 million Australian dollars. So that's probably, I, I don't know, 8, 10 million pounds, maybe. We also have sold one player here. Uh, this Polish guy is 35 years of age. He was eating up my wage, and I couldn't really see him in the side. So Remy, fantastic player, 28 years of age, Premier League proven, obviously a former Newcastle, QPR, Marseille, um, Chelsea man. I did sign him in my Manchester United Football Manager 2016, and he was an absolute animal. We picked him up for 42 million, yes, 42. He's currently valued at 28, and we picked him up for a stellar 19. Don't know why Chelsea wanted to sell him, to be quite honest, but they do have an abundance of strikers in Radamel Falcao, um, Diego Costa, and what not. So, let's have a look at the tactics next. We are going to be playing a 4-4-2, obviously the classic United, the Sir Alex Ferguson way. If you've watched my Real Madrid and my Manchester United career, you will know that. The 4-4-2 is my favorite formation, and here is the team that we're going to be playing with throughout this season. So, in goal, we're going to be having Kashmir, uh, Kasmir Schmeichel, <laughs> fuck's sake, Kasmir Schmeichel. We're going to be having Danny Simpson at right back, Wes Morgan as center back, Robert Huth uh, alongside Christian Fuchs. Riyad Mahrez on the left-hand side, 24 years of age, 56 million. Four-star uh, four current ability, potential, absolutely fantastic. Uh, Kante here, 24 years of age, he's worth 50 million. 4-4, four, four, which is absolutely fantastic. A lot of these Leicester players are highly rated now. Danny Drinkwater, who is 25 years of age, worth 45 million. So if we get any bids for maybe Drinkwater, we'll, we'll, we'll see. I don't believe he's worth 50 million. Maybe in real life. Uh, Four-star ability here as well. Uh, Jeffrey Schlooper. Schlooper. Schloop. Schloop. I think that's how you pronounce his name. And obviously, we have Remy up front, and the one and only Jamie Vardy, chat shit, get banged. So we've got Mark Schwartz on the bench. We've got Shinji Okazaki, who is going to be our replacement striker. We have Andy King as well. We're just slowly meeting the squad here. Uh, Nargentine as well. Gray coming fresh off the bench. That's pretty much it, though. Um, we have Dyer, Cram. Rich. So, 
let's have a look at the competition and let's have a look at what the board expects us to do. Now, where is that? Now, guys, please take into consideration that this is only my third ever, yes, third a third ever football manager career. My first was with, was with Manchester United. So where is my my expectations? Oh, it's here. <laughs> my mistake. I was looking all around the place. So the board wants me to finish mid-table. They want me to reach the fifth round of the FA Cup and the fourth round of the Capital One. So, it's going to be very, very interesting to see where we finish up in the Premier League this season. I don't think we're going to make top six, to be honest. This isn't real life. All the Premier League teams won't be very inconsistent, obviously. However, we do have Remy and Jamie Vardy up front. They're pretty solid side. So, maybe we can have a bit of an upset. We'll just have to hope and see, of course. Fixtures-wise, these were my friendly so far. In the first match we had in the under-21s, we managed to win 6-0. Jamie Vardy scoring a hat-trick there. Uh, in another friendly, we managed to win 2-1. Uh, Shinji Okazaki getting on the score sheet. We managed to beat this other friendly side here. 5-2. Jamie Vardy scoring one alongside Mares. We managed to lose, unfortunately, 3-1 here to Blackburn. Jamie Vardy claiming two goals, and we managed to draw against Bristol City. Remy getting up on the score sheet. So I'm going to have a look at our... at the news, where the, where the bloody hell it is. Here, news. So the transfers, um, Hakim here has signed for Real Madrid for FC Twente. Um... Alberto de la Bella, the former Real Sociedad man, has signed for Everton. But that's pretty much it, to be honest. Not really that much news I need to recap. So I've gone through the tactics, the transfer. So throughout this season, I think the 4-4-2 is going to be uh, really good for us. It does counter a lot of Premier League sides. Jamie Vardy and Remy leading the charge. I did have the option here to put... Jamie Vardy is a defensive forward. However, I do prefer a complete forward along with Remy. However, it is all subject to change. So let me know in the comment section down below any any constructive feedback you might have. But apart from that, I don't think there's much else we can do at the moment. I think let's get stuck into the first match of the Premier League against Crystal Palace. So we have two players ineligible. We just couldn't um, get them up. So Crystal Palace has four. Shamak. A striker is out. Hennessy, a goalkeeper, is out. Okay. And Paddy McCarthy is out alongside Speroni. Is Speroni a goalkeeper? Okay. So, Crystal Palace have two of their first-team goalkeepers out. That's going to be very interesting to see who they feel. But let me know in the comments, how do you think I'm going to fare in this season? If I can hit my objectives with the mid-table, I'll be happy. But if I can get European football in some aspect, that would be... Uh, great. So obviously I can't bring everyone onto the the field. I'm probably better off bringing Dyer as well. Even though these guys are on loan, I don't know. I'm better off playing my own team, aren't I? All right. Let's start the match. See how we do in the first match of the league. Uh, how much of a boost? Uh, I'm just gonna go no comment. Oh, that's what I should have done. Can I go back for a second? What I want to do is, actually, before we go in, where is my staff? I want to... Responsibilities. First team. Uh, handle team talks. I don't care. We'll give that to the assistant coach. Handle opposition. Um, coach report. Player search. Friendlies. From now on, I don't care about friendlies. Tunnel interviews. We'll go with the assistant manager. Hold press conferences. I'll do that. Um, handles opposition instructions. So we'll do that now. All right, confirm. Let's get that off. Some people really do like that whole text inbox stuff. I don't know. I do like some aspects of it, but I do believe it's sort of kind of a bit tedious when you're trying to do a YouTube series. So, Crystal Palace are playing Adebayol up front. Yannick Balassi on the left and Zaha. That's a venomous um, front for there. I would have put probably Kabai up front, but, but Kabai, who else is there? Kelly and McCarthy there. 25 years of age, playing his first match for Crystal Palace. Seeing that Speroni and McCarr... Uh, who was that? Someone else was that, anyway. But let's play this one and see how we fare in the first match. Okay, guys. So if you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe. I'd really much appreciate it. Mares getting up on the end of it. Here are my settings. 
Um, just making sure everything's good. Right, we're, get, we're gonna get ready to get into a couple of matches. Let me know in the comments who you think I should sign in January if you've got some money. But Jeffrey Schlooper starts off the scoring. Danny Drinkwater playing it across to Fuchs. And we're one new up against Crystal Palace just before the first minute. We're off to a flying start in superb fashion. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be interesting to see how we perform. Um, but like I said, guys, this is only my third ever Football Manager series. It's going to be interesting to see when I look back, um, even at the even at the Manchester United career, how much I've just improved. But I'm always open to suggestions, of course. Uh, my tactics have already been pre-made. I made them in the first series, and they work well. Oh, my God! Jamie Vardy with the back heel plays it into Lock Remy. He claims his first for the match. And I'm going to be doing live commentary, obviously, through this. Look at this. Jamie Vardy picking up an immense assist. Remy cool, come and collected on his debut. Makes it 2-0. Okay, we're doing very, very well in this match against Crystal Palace. However, yeah, they're probably going to be a mid-table team as well. But we need to pick up as many points as possible. But mind you, I guess these players and their potential sort of the updated version of when... Not like last year's, um, when rest and uh, what when Leicester were doing uh, well in the league this year. That's a really nice over the top ball here. Jamie Vardy gets tackled in the pox, the pox, the box. <laughs> it's a penalty. I, I think. What is it? What's happening here? Yep, it's a penalty. So this is either Kante or Mares. I think it might be Mares stepping up. No, it's Remy. And he misses. Very, very unfortunate. Lock Remy had the opportunity to make it to nil there. It's a little bit late at night, guys. So if I'm getting a little bit tongue-tied and uh, saying, just mucking up my words a little bit. So it's a bit late. What is it? Two o'clock in the morning. Um, but regardless, oh, Crystal Palace on the counter-attack here. Determined to break Kashmir Cash, cash, my God, Cashmere. Oh, I'm just gonna say smart because Caspier Schmeichel is a little bit hard to say. I'll just say Schmeichel. Why, why, why am I saying his first name? Anyway, sprays it wide, doesn't challenge him, and manages to keep his clean sheet. Schmeichel does. Okay, Crystal Palace holding up the possession a little bit better. Uh, things have calmed down a little bit in this match, but we're two 0 up at home. Hopefully we can continue. Kabai. Wes Morgan tracking back. Schmeichel blasts it. Drinkwater plays it over the top to Riyad Mahrez. Oh, what a superb piece of play from Mahrez to Remy to Jamie Vardy. Scores his first of the season. I was umming and ahhing whether to play Mahrez and Vardy up front or maybe Vardy and Okazaki. But if you have the opportunity to sign Remy... For 19 million, who for some reason in the game's worth 28, he's worth 38. We picked him up. Oh no, we've picked him up uh, for 42 in my Manchester United. That's just because the game randomly generated that Chelsea didn't want him. So unfortunately, here, Jeffrey's picked up an injury, a potential head injury. So who can we replace for him? We can put Okazaki on the left hand side, we can put Gray. I'm probably going to go with Okazaki. Um, he's just a little bit more older and has had more experience than Gray, but Gray's quite good. He's got some really nice stats there. Right, let's flick Okazaki on the left-hand side and let's quickly change his position to a defensive winger. That'll be just fine. How are we sort of going for time? So we got, we're at the 53rd minute and our condition is not too bad. However, Okazaki hasn't had that much uh, football in the recent years. Oh, well, recent season since signing Remy. But yeah, I'm curious to know your predictions. Who do you think is going to be the top goal scorer of the Premier League? Do you think I'm going to hit my objectives? If I, if I could get European football in any extent, that would be superb. But there will be two matches in today's episode. Um, Okay. I think that's basically what I really needed to talk about. Off the top of my head. 
you haven't gone and checked out my social media links, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below, highly recommend you do. So Mares on the ball, finds Kante, trying to get it over the top to Remy, but uh, just not strong enough. Adebayol, through on goal, Schmeichel, what a superb <laughs> save, and we're still currently winning. 3 now. I think it's time to do some substitutions here. Um, or maybe not. 75, 70, 71. These guys are actually holding up quite well. It's only the 81st minute. It's because, obviously, we've only been playing threat friendlies and uh, everyone's ready, eager and keen to play the first match of the season. And we're winning, which is great. 3-0 up. The 4-4-2 seems to be working. Jamie Vardy trying to break away again there. Riyad Mahrez oh, finds Jamie Vardy at the back post and Remy claims his second for the match on his debut. Riyad Mahrez, look at that, press, at that precise pass. Remy picking up the crumbs in the box for a bit of a sloppy piece of play at the end. So Wes Morgan and Huth are a little bit knackered. Um, to keep the clean sheet, I'm going to actually sub them off. These guys are pretty old. What, Robert Hoof's 30? Where's Morgan's 31? So let's, if we can, we haven't got any centre backs. I was umming and ahhing to also sign, uh, these were some other transfer targets of mine. I didn't just go for Remy and find him. I was trying to get uh, Marcus Rashford from Manchester United. Oh my god, Schmeichel is on fire. Johan Kabai uh, denied. I was also trying to get uh, Timothy Fosu Mensa, but. Manchester United wanted 15 million for Marcus Rashford, and I think it was like 10 million for for Mensa. Jamie Vardy, very unlucky to be denied there. However, guys, we have prevailed on the first match against Crystal Palace, four nil. What a superb result, if I do say so myself. Remy claimed two. Uh, Jeffrey here claimed one, and Jamie Vardy claimed the second. Let's just hope he's not out for too long. He's out for six to eight days. Remy is the cream of the crop, apparently. Right, Remy got his first league goal today. How is it important? It's vital. The first goal will give him a massive boost in confidence. Yeah, I don't really want to discuss that. And pretty much no comment. This stuff doesn't really matter. But if you want to role play, it's fine. I'd just rather get stuck into some matches. So, we're off to a pretty good start, if I do say so myself. So, after that match, we will just do a quick save. Awesome stuff. We're doing quite well. Now, transfer budget we can get at different points in, in time. It's really weird how the budget sort of works. You get money at different points in the season, which... Eh, is okay. Now, I need to find a centre-back. You a centre-back? You can play as a centre-back. So, Liam Moore is unregistered. Okay, right. Let's quickly switch you around. So, we're currently first in the league after the first match. Norwich, Watford, Everton and Stoke make up the top five. Right, let's continue on. And hopefully, away at Bournemouth, we can have a good result. Okay. I think we've picked up an injury here. Once we get to the match, I'll recap all the results of the uh, the first leg. Oh, wow. Because not all of them are finished just yet. So, we're going to be playing Bournemouth in today's episode. Okay, so, who got into the team of the week? Remy, of course. Wow, really? Are you serious? We won 4-0. And I'm pretty sure Manchester United did. However, three Manchester United players got in there. That's some bullshit. Um, we are still in the August transfer window. So, transfers could come at any point now as well. So that's why I'm coming across. So, the Bournemouth scout, the scouting report has come back. Their most used formation 442, the most successful formation 442, and the most vulnerable 442. Perfect. That's the exact formation we're going to be using. So, okay. My Swiss player here 
Gok Han Inla. 31 years of age, he's worth 8 million. I don't really see him a part of my plans for this year. And we couldn't actually sell him for his 8 million. This is actually the first transfer we got. So we're going to accept all. He's either going to go to, what, Trebizon or Sassuolo. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, my God. I didn't even mean to say that. I just I just looked at Ronaldinho. Oh, my God. That was a fucking shitty pun. I didn't even mean to do it. So Nice has signed the one and only, the man, the myth, the legend, the Brazilian Ronaldinho. My favorite player. In football, I would say he's just such a. He just, he just he's always smiling. He's just just such a nice character. He just seems like a good bloke, always having fun, laughing. It's great. Doesn't take it too seriously, but he just man, some of his goals he scored for Barcelona are absolutely fucking incredible. Right, so it doesn't really look like there's much more um, transfers or notifications. So the tactics, we're going to be playing a 4-4-2 this season. If it doesn't work, we'll probably switch to a 4-2-3-1. Um, the 4-3-3 position is another formation I like to play. However, I don't know if we've got enough tiki tacker players to play that. They don't have sort of the best foot footwork, if you know what I mean. If you're going to play a 4-3-3 possession, you need to have players with excellent passing ability and some really fast wing, isn't it? And a striker, of course. But uh, we're going to play a match against Bournemouth here today. So how can we have a look at the stats? Okay, guys, I found the fixtures and results finally. Okay, so all the teams in the Premier League so far, except for what? Two have played uh, two matches. So, so far in the league... Tottenham won 2 1 over West Ham. Manchester City won 3 0 over Sunderland. Liverpool won 3 1 over United. What are some other? Newcastle and Arsenal drew. Manchester United won 4 1 over Newcastle. Arsenal won over West Ham. Chelsea won over Liverpool. And these are results from last week Tottenham Hotspur and Manchester City draw. So we haven't faced any teams in the top four, top six just yet. We have a match against Le uh, against Bournemouth here today, rather said. So Bournemouth have five players ineligible. Murray's out. Arteta. Arte, not Arteta, sorry. And Matt Ritchie. Now, unfortunately, he's... Nope, he's back in the side, Jeffrey. So we're currently on a four... Nil win hiatus. So let's get stuck into the match against Bournemouth. Hopefully we can claim up the three points. We're going to be playing with our 4-4-2 four, four, formation. So let's start this one now, shall we? Okay. Bournemouth are playing a Torbe up front on loan. So this obviously is the update. Okay. On loan from Roma. We're going to have to watch out for him. Callum, Wins uh, Callum Wilson up front. Who else is there to take note of? Cook. Dustin. Okay, so we're still playing the 4-4-2. Vardy, Remy up front. Schloop on the left. Drinkwater and Kante in the center. Mara is on the right. Fuchs, Huth, Morgan and Danny Simpson in the back line. And we have Schmeichel in goal. So, everyone is pretty much at full fitness. Let's start the match. And hopefully claim the three points against Bournemouth here today. Jamie Vardy and Remy with a nice link up. It was great to see Remy pick up two goals. Obviously a Premier League proven player. And especially for 19 million, he's probably going to bag a lot of goals this season. I do apologize if he's a bit repetitive having him in my Manchester United career. But there wasn't actually many players we probably could have signed for 18 million. And having him come up as a transfer... No, I couldn't say no, but a Turbe, oh my god, very, very close there. Schmeichel manages to hold on. Our defenders run, okay. We're still holding on. We didn't start off as early as I would have liked compared to against Crystal Palace. That was superb, that match. 22 minutes thus far. Okay, Remy has been caught off offside in the 30th minute. Jeffrey here seems to be a little bit knackered still. 
Williams on the ball. Bournemouth still managing to maintain possession. Callum Wilson finds a turbo and he hits the bar. Definitely should have put that one at the back of the net. And to be honest, I don't know how we're at least 2 3 nil down. We are getting dominated by Bournemouth. Come on, take your chances away. Mahrez pushing down for the counter-attack. We might need to substitute Jeffrey off because he's a little bit knackered coming back from his, end, his head injury from the last match. Okay, so it's currently nil-nil. Obviously, Bournemouth are an okay side, but we need to get as many points as possible to hit our objective uh, at mid-table. But... I don't know. That's what the board want us to do. I don't think we're going to win the Premier League. Oh, my God. Wilson, we are so lucky not to concede here. Can't say over the top. Fuchs back to drink water. Jamie Vardy gets tackled in the box. That was pretty controversial. Down the wing. Jamie Vardy gets tackled again. Remy puts it into the back of the net to claim his third of the season. And he's third within two matches. Jamie Vardy goes down. Jeffrey here whips it into Remy. And we're 1-0 up away against Bournemouth. Get in. <laughs> really nicely done. I really do enjoy Football Manager. I do have a small but loyal following. It's a lot of fun. So maybe, um, depending on how we do, we might do some more votes. Mares of oh, Jamie fucking Vardy. Chat shit get banged. Claims he's second of the season. And we're 2-0 up here. The PFA's Young Player of the Year, Mares, whips it in, and we're 2-0 up against Bournemouth. Superb stuff. Two goals from, um, or two cross-ins, I guess. Drink water, man. It should be at least 2-2, but this counter-attack is immense. Fuchs, uh, I could see what you were doing, trying to get it to Mares. But a Turbay and Callum Wilson are on fire. Incredibly unlucky. Schmeichel holding the line. He has been playing superbly in this match. Come on, Leicester. Right, out the back. Danny Simpson's going to create the play. We get intercepted, but Remy still manages to maintain possession. And then we lose it. What a kick from the Bournemouth goalkeeper. Okay, Danny Simpson intercepts again. Oh, Kante with a header. Oh, and it's currently 2-1. We concede in uh, just before the 60th minute, late in the second half. Schmeichel coming out. Pretty foolish decision, but hey, he's broken his clean sheet. We are still um, leading, at least. So 67%. It's not too bad. I want to keep the rhythm. I want to keep the flow of the side. We're not doing too bad. Oh, Robert Huth. Picked up a yellow, which is exactly not what I wanted, and so is Wes Morgan. We don't want to get a red card, of course. Remy finds Kante. Jamie Vardy! Oh, my God. Jamie Vardy sprays it wide. It's time to take off Jeffrey here. We're going to bring on who? I think Gray. I think we're going to bring on Gray, the 19-year-old. Can play on the left, can push up. We need more goals. We don't really need a def... Oh. No, nah, we'll bring on Gray. Where can Okazaki play? Yeah, I don't want to take off Remy or Vardy. They're just playing incredibly. Or maybe I should put Okazaki on, maybe make him a defensive winner, because we are leading. Yeah, I don't want to lose the uh, the lead. So do we bring off Robert Huth or Wes Morgan? 72-76, the captain we probably should leave on, but we're going to take off Robert Huth here. We'll bring on Daniel, 20 years of age, 31. Obviously a midfielder, defensive midfielder, but he can put in a stint at centre-back. He will do. We just have to make do with what we have at Leicester. We don't have an abundance of cash like United. We can't go and strengthen everything. Jamie Vardy sprays it wide. That's the second chance in uh, a couple of minutes that he's put wide. Remy's offside. We're still 2-1 up against Bournemouth on another attack. Okay, Danny Simpson with a very, very dangerous tackle. Come on, we need to maintain position. Come on, Jamie Vardy. Trying to link up with his teammate, Kante. Come on. Come on. Put in the back of the net. Drink water. Whew. The amount of chances fucking squandered in this match for both sides should be a bit of a worry. Oh, that was poor. And now they're on the counter-attack. 2-1. Schmeichel. With a diving grab. What a classic catch. 
Drink water. Finds Remy. He's, I can see what you're trying to do. Play Kante inside there. Oh, Turbe. No! Schmeichel with the hands. Um, right, what can we sort of do to continue on with this relatively great situation? I'm trying to think maybe I should bring on Andy King for drink water. Just to mix, the, mix things up in the midfield. We'll put him back to a box-to-box -box midfielder. We won't push up. Because 10 minutes remaining, I don't think we should push. I think we should sort of park the bus a little bit. But I want to bring on some fresh legs into the side. Remy finds Mares over the top. Trying to find Jamie Vardy. Still currently leading. 2-1. Kante finds Remy. Oh, Turbe breaking away with pace. The Argentine on loan. No. Finds Callum Wilson in the dying minutes of the match. Whips it in and makes it 2-2. Just before the 82nd. Not good. But hey, as long as you made mid-table, I'm happy. And as long as I made the board expectations. But if we get European football, top 6, top 4, top 6, top 4, I'm not going to complain. But... I don't know if we're going to get back in this match. We just have to hopefully luck, hopefully uh, have a lucky counter-attack. Jamie Vardy, King. Oh, that's woeful. Mares, King, Kante. Come on, play Var. Yes! Oh, we've done it. No. Yes, we have. Yes, I thought it was offside. Whew. It scared me. Oh, my God. We've done it, guys. 3-2 against Bournemouth. Kante finds Jamie Vardy. Plays in Mares, And Remy puts it in the back of the net. What a player he has become. Oh, by the end of the season, I can't wait to calculate how many goals he has scored per his value. Oh, no. And it's full time. Whew. God, that was awesome. We're off to a flying start in this episode. Holy shit. I can't believe it. I really can't believe it. We won 4-0 against Crystal Palace, and we managed to come back and win 3-2 against Bournemouth. That just shows you the, the determination, the resilience of this Leicester side. So we have Southampton next in the Premier League, and we have Blackburn. But we need to pick up as many points as possible until Manchester City, Tottenham... Wow, we have a lot of fixtures to come. So after that match, I'm going to do a quick save... But guys, it's time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. If this video can hit 200 likes within 24 hours, I will do a double upload here today and release the second video instantly. If not, never fear. The next episode will be out in a couple of days. So check out my social media links if you haven't already. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram all in the description below. Stay tuned for some more Football Manager content. This Football Manager series won't affect my FIFA city, uh, series in any way, shape, or form. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I had. Uh, have. Has. Have. <laughs> Jesus. I think it's time to end it here. Take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. My name has been Simsy. Goodbye.